Okay, so we have here a 2001 GMC Yukon 6.0 liter engine. This vehicle came to us in need of a front brake job and also with the complaint of a loud clacking noise that started in the engine about two months ago. Now there's been, uh, from what I understand, some speculation that it might be bad timing chain, it might be bad lifters, it might be a bad oil pump. It took us about three hours of proper diagnosis and we were able to find out what was wrong with this vehicle. Uh, just to keep it simple, as of right now, this vehicle is currently in bad shape. Uh, the engine needs to be replaced. Uh, it is not fixable, mainly due to cost. So we're gonna go start up the engine and we're gonna listen to our clacking noise. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys underneath here. See if we can hear our clacking noise there. Okay, so if you notice that noise is definitely coming from underneath as if you come up top you can't really hear it all that much so I'm gonna just let you know based off of that we know that it's not an up top noise and it has nothing to do with lifters or timing or anything like that from there we needed to isolate exactly where that clacking noise was coming out of uh, once we figured out that it was not lifters or timing uh, we then realized that it's either going to be a bad piston skirt, piston rod, possible a bearing that's going bad that hasn't spun itself out quite yet. So what we did was the first thing we did to isolate it was we started the vehicle and we killed each cylinder individually one by one by pulling the coils, with the plugs off of the coil. When I got back to the back cylinder back there, as you can see, let me let my camera readjust. Uh, and pulled that back coil and killed that back cylinder that's when the noise made a, a significant difference in sound telling me that that the noise is coming out of that cylinder so either that piston is bad or piston rod is bad or bearing is bad now to further confirm that what we do is we then uninstall the oil filter specifically the oil filter and I don't know if you're going to be able to see this on the camera but we put the oil in a uh, you know clear container like this, and if you kind of hold it at an angle against the sun, what you'll be able to see is a real metallic kind of a metallic color in there. You'll be able to see the metal shavings that uh, that kind of you know kind of light up against the sun. And so, uh, if my customer isn't able to see it on this video, I'll definitely show it to her in person. And so with the combination of what we did during the diagnosis, killing the rear cylinder, pinpointing the, no the, the noise coming from the bottom half of the engine, back part of the oil pan, along with the amount of metal shavings that we have inside of the oil filter, we now know for a fact that this engine is currently eating itself up. It's possibly got bad bearings, bad piston rods, and a uh, bad piston skirt. With the amount of metal that is that is inside of this and the type of noise it is making at this point everything inside of this engine is going to be bad all the bearings all the rods it's all going to be covered in, in metal shavings and uh that's just not a good thing to do the problem with this uh th this is an ls engine it's a gmc 6.0 engine the issue that there's going to be uh with this is when these vehicles when this engine starts eating itself up like that what it'll do is it'll throw a piston or it'll throw a rod directly right out of that engine block. Uh, in other words, we call it grenading itself. So this engine will blow up and it will catch on fire going down the road if it ends up throwing a piston or a rod. So this vehicle is actually uh, technically uh, professional. Technically and professionally, this vehicle is really not safe to drive for the driver or other people so we're going to want to look at uh definitely changing the engine out on this vehicle